What's up, my name is Jay and in this video, I want to show you how you can create tooltips for your website using TPJS. It's very easy and you can see here on their homepage, they have a very cute logo here. And if you scroll down, you will have um, some demos and you can see how simple it is. Here is a button, for example, and uh, you can add just a little bit of JavaScript. And when you hover the button, you have a beautiful tooltip with animation and everything. If you keep scrolling down, you will see different options that you can, um, like placement, for example, you can add the arrows, um, different animations here. So you can keep going on and on and add your own things, but let's get started and let's do something. So I'm going to go to my text editor. Let's close this. So you can see here, I have um, some HTML with, um, the only thing I have is two buttons and you can see them right here. Um, I have a CSS, just adding this background and the style for the buttons. And I have a JavaScript file, which is totally empty right now. So no tooltip, nothing yet, but let's add tp.js. So all I'm gonna do right now is adding the tp file. So I'm just going to copy and paste right here before my JavaScript file. I'm going to paste these two scripts, which is popper JS, which is the engine used by TP. And you can see TP.js right here. Um, don't worry on the description of this video, you're going to find all these files and details about TP.js and all that stuff. Right? So I'm going to save that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my JavaScript file. Okay. So right now, all I have to do is TP and then um, quotes and element. So for example, if you go to, to your HTML, um, you can see I have a class of buttons and inside buttons, I have um, button, right? So you can do something like buttons and button, or you can do button. But remember, um, then you're going to target every single button on your website. So keep that in mind. That's all we need right now. So I'm going to save that. But if you go to your website and you hover, you're going to see some, uh, there's something going on, but there's nothing. It seems like that's the tooltip, that little black thing on the top, but it's empty. So let's go to the HTML and let's add some content to that button. So we're going to go to the specific button that we, and we want to add content and we're going to do data hyphen TP hyphen content equals to, and here you can put whatever you want. So let's say, um, register, uh, before Christmas something like that. It can be whatever you want. That's your personal message. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to hover the button and there you go. Register before Christmas. And of course, right now these buttons are huge. Um, so I can change the size of that tooltip. We're going to do that in a minute. So, um, the important thing is that this is already working. So right now it's working and you can see like, and this one is working, we need to do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste this content to the second button. And let's change it to something different. Let's say buy now and receive a free car. All right. So now I'm going to hover by now. There you go. By now receive, receive a free car. And then we have multiple different tooltips with different content. Now this content, you can add this content via JavaScript too on your JavaScript file, or you can add it right here, which I think a lot of people will do it this way. So now that we have the tooltip working, let's modify the tooltip a little bit. Let's play with the options. So let's go to the JavaScript file and right here after the element, I'm going to put comma and then a object. And here we can put a bunch of options that we have. Remember, there's a link in the description if you want to know all the options and learn about them. 
So um, for example, animation, you can change your animation. And for now, I'm going to add scale, a very basic animation, but they have more. Um, one thing that I want to add is the arrow. So I'm going to put arrow, arrow um, true. So let's save that and let's see if it works. So let's go back. And there you go. Now we have an arrow right there. It looks really good. Let's keep adding stuff. Um, the placement right now, I think, is at the top. Let's add, let's change it to bottom. Let's save that. Let's see if that works. And there you go. Now it's at the bottom. Perfect. Something very cool is that um, it can follow the cursor. So let's go ahead and follow. Oops. Cursor. And this is true. All right, let's see how that looks. And look at this. So it's going to follow you. Now there's more options. It doesn't have to follow you everywhere. Maybe it can follow you like um, vertically or horizontally. Um, so there's more options about this. I don't like to, it depends on what it is. If it's very important, maybe you need to follow making sure that the person reads um, this message. But for now, I don't want this. Um, something else that you can do is size. Um, you can put small, medium, or large. I'm going to put large. And the theme, you can change the theme. Um, there's, I think, like five different themes, like a light version. There's the dark version. There's a Google version. Um, but one thing that I want to do is create my own theme. So if you go, if I go to my style.css, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And you can see that I added here um, TP theme. And you can see um, TP tooltip dot huge theme. Now you can change this huge text to whatever you want. So um, let's say I eat websites and then I'm changing the font size of the tooltip and the font family. So I'm going to save this and here on the theme, I'm going to put I eat websites. I'm going to save that. And look at that. So now I can go back and I can keep adding here stuff like let's change the font, the color of that font um, to red. Um, it's not going to lo look that good, but I want to show you that it works. There you go. So. And now you can keep playing with it. I think I'm going to change it to the top. And that looks very good. So let's go back and let's change the background color to white. Um, let's put white. Let's see if that works. There you go. Background color. And of course, now I need to change the arrow color, but you get the idea. You can create your own theme. You can add more different animations. There's a lot of options that you can add here on your JavaScript file. And you have a great tooltip right there ready for your website. And that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.